And we identified that some of the triggers with that pain actually had to do with her diet and the fact that she was afraid to exercise before and during her cycle. So I had this patient, Kelly, and Kelly was an 18-year-old female. She had just started her first year in college and had been suffering really painful, painful periods and bad PMS for a few years. Um, and then when it got to college, it was worse. You know, she was eating out with her friends, not particularly taking care of herself. And it just got to a point where she really wasn't able to enjoy a good quality of life for a week and a half out of the month. Um, and so when she came, we identified that some of the triggers with that pain actually had to do with her diet and the fact that she was afraid to exercise before and during her cycle. Now, cramping is stagnation. So everything is super, super tight. There's, you know, blood really local and not circulating well throughout the rest of the body. So, you know, patients with terrible cramping need to do some type of gentle movement. I'm not saying go out and run a marathon, you know, during your cycle. That's, you know, not what's best for the body, but don't be afraid of gentle movement, you know, whether it's a little bit of the Stairmaster or a light hike or, you know, walking every day. That will be incredibly beneficial with the pain. And with Kelly, we also did some blood work as well and just the way that we figured out it was a dietary component was we looked at some blood work and her inflammation markers were really high. And any time inflammation markers are high, that's something you know that's constantly going on unless you have an acute injury that flared you. So we have to figure out what's the source of that inflammation. And you know, as a lot of us do, she was binging, binging on sugar right before <laughs> her cycle, which was really contributing to those cramps. So cut back a little bit on the sugar um, and that made a tremendous difference with her also just knowing oh it's okay to work out I won't do as heavy of a workout but I can still move around and that made her a little less fearful about any type of weight gain you know a lot of young women are trying to lose weight they're you know gaining weight in college they're afraid of that um, so yeah she cut back on the sugar a little bit she was able to move a little bit more and just those two changes made such a drastic difference from her and brought down the inflammation down significantly mm -hmm.